This is a keyboard off of 2008 MacBook Pro, and I just want to show how the keys are made, the keyboard is made. Um, you can actually get your fingernail underneath the little keys, if you got a little bit of a fingernail or something. If you go from the top, this works. Go on the top of the key, and you can like flip it up, and it'll snap right off. So on the top, put your fingernail on the top, and pick it up, it'll snap right off. And Sometimes it'll snap right off. There it goes. Um, sometimes it'll snap off easier than others. And you see underneath, these are actually just little covers. And they have clips on them. So um, the clips, these little clips, snaps. I don't know if my camera's focusing there. But these little clips or snaps go onto these plastic, white plastic pieces. And there's some dirt in there. Um, but the white plastic pieces just hold the keyboard in place. The center part is a light and the actual key. So you, if these were snapped off, you could actually type by pressing that little center part. It's not the best way to do it, but you can actually do that. And what you can do to snap them back in, again, it's just these little clips. The two close together go on top, and the two further apart go on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So the two close together go on top two further apart go on the bottom they're really 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 small little clips it's hard to hold it steady there um if you can see that that's kind of how it goes top close together bottom further apart and you just kind of put it on there with the o it's a little confusing because it's hard to tell what's up and down but they have to go on you know right side up you can't put them on crooked just lay it on there and just kind of press down and it'll snap in place sometimes it takes a couple tries okay kind of snaps in place if it doesn't work at first you might have to pop it off again or get it out of from underneath and make sure it's the right way yeah and just press it in there try to do this there we go I just pressed it down there better if the computer's off of course I'll try the then well let me try the U because I know the U goes up like that right so that's easier to or Orient. You can't put it on sideways. You can't put it on the other way sideways. You can't do that. You can't flip it upside down. It won't click in place if it's upside down because the two wide clips have to be on the bottom. The the clips that are on the top are the ones that are closer together. So kind of flip it up like that. So just kind of lay it on there and then just press down. You'll hear it snap. See, it's working. It's in place. It's just a little cover. That's all it is. And the last one I have the two wide clips go on the bottom. That should be oriented right. You just kind of lay it down. Sometimes it'll go underneath like that. It's a little annoying sometimes. Get it oriented and then press down. There, there it snapped. Okay, you'll hear it snap. Okay, now this one's on a little crooked. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit crooked. Um, if it goes on crooked, just put your fingernail behind the top part and it'll pop off. It might pop off, you know, and jump out, but you see it popped off. And now I'll just try it again. And, you know, of course, if you do this too much, you might break the clips, but if those clips are in place, it'll snap right in. Even if just a couple of the clips are in, it snapped in there, I think. Oh, there it goes. Snapped in there now. Um, now you see some of my keys got messed up. This keyboard actually, not on the computer, this keyboard was the bad one I had. I wrote bad on it so I could remember this one wasn't working. That's all that is to the keyboard. Um, the working electronics are under this black plastic, I guess. That's the little trackpad part right there. So, um, it's just one plug that plugs into the keyboard, or to the computer makes the keyboard work um but if those keys pop off it's no big deal i don't know about the space bar i haven't tried that but it should be probably the same thing it might be more clips but these little keys you know any of them you want to pop off i don't know why you'd want to pop them off but maybe just for fun of it you could switch them around i guess if you wanted to do that you know you can pop them off uh this one's sticking Okay, so that one's not popping off like I wanted it to. You can see it kind of stuck. Top stuck. There you can kind of see how it fits together. Might have broken that one. That's okay. 
You can kind of see how it fits together there. If I push down on it, I think I broke that one. This keyboard doesn't work anyways though, so it's no big deal. I'll try with this one. There it goes. That's how they usually pop off the first time. They kind of pop up, fly out, and you know, I can try switching them. So you can switch them, put the eight where the three goes, snaps in, put the three over here, snaps in, and now my keyboard's metric. That one's kind of broken. I'll have to look at it closer. It might not, might snap in. All right. Oh, there it pops off. No. Anyways, it's not a big deal because it's. Oh yeah, see, on here I kind of broke the little clips. This will focus. See those clips on the top are okay, the clips on the bottom. Clips on top are okay, but the clips on the bottom are broken. My camera will focus. They're like little grabbers, they're like little grabbers like that. They And they do break, but even if they break, if there's one or two that are working, you can kind of lay it on here like this. Just try to snap it in. If one or two snaps in, it'll it'll hold okay, at least temporarily. It's hard getting it in the right spot. There, not snapped in. So it actually holds, even though it's not perfect. Just keep pressing it. Sometimes it'll press in. It's sticking up a little because it's messed up, but it's sort of working. <laughs> it's sort of 3D now. Anyways, yeah. Actually, that's not bad. But that's the keyboard.